Hello, in this video we will show you how to connect the communication in a plant with Sunny Obinager 2.0 and Sunny Boy Smart Energy. You can also perform the following steps if you want to connect an SMA energy meter instead. Depending on the system's landscape, the functions differ for each product. When performing any work on the inverter, also refer to the system manual and observe all safety relevant information. Ensure that both the miniature circuit breaker and the DC load breaker switch of the inverter are switched off before starting with the electrical connection. Use the hex key included in the scope of delivery to open the inverter's SMA Easy Lock and then remove the lid from the inverter. You must remove the cover of the communication assembly before connecting the cables. The communication cable must be fed through the second enclosure opening from the right. To do this, remove the sealing plug, place the cable gland with 4 hole cable support sleeve in the enclosure opening and tighten it using the counter nut. The union nut can then be unscrewed so that the 4 hole cable support sleeve can be removed from the cable gland. Then guide the cable through the cable gland into the inverter and plug it into one of the network sockets. Tuck slightly on the cable to ensure that it's securely in place and ensure that the cable does not touch the AC cables. Line 1 and Line 2 can be used flexibly to connect the communication. These can also act as a switch, allowing you to connect several devices as a daisy chain. The other end of the network cable, which has just been connected in the Sunny Boy Smart Energy, is then connected to the switch in the control cabinet. The product must be installed in the switch cabinet. To do this, follow the instructions in the respective operating manual. In our case, we have already installed the Sunny Home Manager 2.0. First, connect the network switch to the device. Otherwise, a connection to the Sunny Portal powered by an XOS cannot be established. Then, connect the end of the Ethernet cable, which has just been plugged into the Sunny Boy Smart Energy to the network switch in the switch cabinet. This completes the installation and you can now place the cover of the enclosure on the inverter and secure it using the hexagon head bolt. When doing so, ensure that the EMC brackets are correctly in place and undamaged. The Sunny Home Manager 2.0 is now connected to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy. Depending on the system requirements, settings can be made in the Sunny Portal powered by NXOS. We hope that this video could help you with your questions. If you need any further assistance, check out other tech tips on our channel or comment your questions below this video. Would you like to receive the latest tech tips on SMA products? Then subscribe to our channel.